this fucking up. show that's about to premiere <clears throat> this Sunday. Speak on it. Game of motherfucking thrones. Uh, before we dive into it real quick, I want to ask you a question. I will go ahead. Dude. What's what's a bigger cultural phenomenon? Is it is it in game crack or Game of Thrones? Like what's what's a bigger cultural phenomenon? Yeah, uh, cultural phenomenon. You said Batman? Fuck, dude, I don't know. I think Captain I mean no Captain Well, I think Endgame just because of Spider Man? Wait, what? <laughs> no, I go think ahead. I think Marvel. <laughs> go ahead. Right? You're, you're in so you think Marvel? Uh, Marvel's Marvel. Marvel's yeah. Endgame. The only reason why I say that is because it just reaches more of a broader audience for sure. Kids, teens, adults, everything in between. Like anybody could watch that. Game of Thrones, it's really I, I disagree. Would say, you think kids are watching the shit Red Wedding? Like, oh my god, dad. Like, I mean, no. look, look, I mean, kids can watch whatever shows. I mean, that's of course they the can, but I don't think they want to watch people fucking getting this like But look, that's ne- it's not about what kids want to watch. It's not a child show anyway. Look. So that, that's the reason why I'm saying it's Marvel not as big as and not as big of a cultural phenomenon because of if I'm going to be going to Comic-Con, I'm going to see way more cosplays of Marvel than I'm going to see Game of Thrones. Cuz it's Comic-Con. Facts. That's exactly the kind of shit that would be at Comic-Con. But Marvel characters have been around for years before these movies, so like that's not even like a good even. You can't Nobody really gives a that. fuck about Iron Man until Iron Man. That's a lie. No, that's no. that's not that's a lie. lie. That Nobody a lie. gave. I can't speak on it because ten I, years ago I I was like hmm, Iron, Iron Man was such a uh, such a D list. So how long have you been superhero? following superheroes? It was not period. a D list, but he was he was he was A list. He he wasn't he wasn't B list either. How long have you been following superheroes? Did you hop on with Iron Man? Is that why you're saying that? So no. it's the Spider-Man animated series. We like the small one. Like the one I was so Spider-Man, kid. your favorite? Spider-Man oh, 1. Down, Spider-Man, Spider-Man my favorite. 1's release. And that's when you start following superheroes. Yeah. So you didn't even see anything. You weren't even eyes on Iron Man. When Lou Ferrigno was Hulk. That's what, what I saw. <laughs> no, that's when I got into it. I'm just saying in it. general. That's when I got into right. it. Right. So how are you going to say no one cares about Iron Man until Iron Man came out if you just hopped on Spider-Man bandwagon when it came out? What are you talking about? How I read you? comics. I knew about Guardians That's of the Galaxy when it came out. Yeah, but you asked me when did I get into comics. That's what I'm asking you. When That's you get when I got in was fucking Spider-Man, and then I went down the rabbit hole. Oh. Why didn't you say that? So Why did you stop I did. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you I got in no, on did. Spider-Man. Don't, don't hop on Your it. question wasn't like when did you start said, reading the comics actively or when did you start now. really taking deep well, dives into the lore? You said when did you get in... To comics, or when did you get into Marvel? That's what you said. Not even fucking comics. I brown one no smoke. You, you know it. what? The <laughs> biggest phenomenon is probably Friends. That was a good one. Si- Seinfeld. I, uh, whatever. Seinfeld was a big one. We're talking Let's about TV shows. We're talking about TV shows. Let's ask the that guys. Question. Let's ask. Uh, what was? I mean, should we ask more of like what's your favorite TV show ever? No. What? What do you think was a biggest, bigger co- cultural cultural phenomenon? phenomenon. Are you what's saying the right now? Cultural phenomenon. Mm-hmm. Or are you saying all time? Right now, Game of Thrones and Endgame come around the same month, around the same time. Well, I, I mean, don't know, man. Endgame is a week later. I put this on the news, too, but Avengers Endgame is just setting crazy records on pre-sale tickets. Like, hands down, it's going to be... I mean, you can't really pre-sale tickets for Game of Thrones, though. But, yeah, so, but, you but you that's the HBO hype, subscriptions. Do you get HBO? I mean, if you can look at the increase of HBO subscriptions this month, I wouldn't probably get number. some. I already had like people like, hey, can I borrow yeah, Game of Thrones? All right, I'd be let me get your number. login. People are like, let me get your login. I'm like, nah, fuck you. <laughs> you got all this time. So get yourself a free month. Wait till the series, like on the last episode, binge watch the fuck out of it. What's up, players? If you enjoyed that clip, go ahead and watch the full episode right here. Or you can check out another one of our crazy awesome videos right down here.